Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is day 47 of Daily CGI. Uh, let's just breeze back past the fact that I skipped day 46 entirely. Uh, basically, I've been feeling kind of sick these past two days. I didn't want to be coughing and spluttering on camera. And uh, so I took a day to recover. I'm feeling a bit better today, so hopefully, hopefully I don't look like death. Um, regarding Blender, nothing to show you today. This is just more general talk about my goals. Uh, so what I've noticed is that I've been neglecting the animation side of things up until this point. Um, I haven't even really started to learn the areas of Blender that allow you to animate a scene beyond maybe basic functionality, how to add a keyframe, how to change interpolation, but nothing of great substance. Um, so I feel like my next course of action is to do a full-on deep dive, learning about dope sheet, timeline, graph editor, and more about drivers, and trying to get more comfortable with all of that. Um, so... I'm looking for some good tutorials at the moment on that, whether it be official or uh, just YouTube tutorials. But that's going to be my next course of action. That's definitely what I want to do next. Um, let's see. I got a new art book. I've been, oh, yeah, I've been reading the Blender manual. More of the same, more of the same. Um, I got some new art books that I purchased. This one's uh, Kirby Art and Style Collection. Have a look. It's a pretty good one. I got it for about 30 Australian dollars. That includes the 10% GST that we have baked into our advertised prices. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a really good book. The description online says, Celebrate more than 25 years of Kirby, the popular pink hero of the best-selling series of video games from Nintendo. A stylish new collection of art and designs from the best-selling Kirby video games. Featuring 25 years worth of sketches, artwork, Japanese video game box art, and more. With exclusive notes from creators and artists who have brought Kirby to life throughout the years. So, fantastic book. The artwork is beautiful. Uh, the only gripe that I have is that that last line there with exclusive notes from creators and artists who have brought Kirby to life throughout the years. Um, technically, it's a true statement, but kind of not really, you know, it's true, but they're pushing it a little bit. It only had uh, a couple of very small notes on very specific pieces of uh, Kirby art, but just barely. So, you know, I wouldn't exactly be using that as a selling point for the book. But other than that, the pictures are nice. Some of them are too small, but it's Kirby, so it's not like he's hyper-realistic and that you need to see so much detail about him, you know. They cram a lot into it. It's like at least probably about 250 pages or so, uh, just eyeing it. But yeah, that was a good one. Um, in terms of my art book collecting, I'm going to have to sort of tone it down a little bit, I think. This first month, I've been um, allowing myself to buy fundamentals animation books like Animation Survival uh, Toolkit and um, Disney's Illusion of Life. Those kinds of things can be pretty expensive. And then um, more generally, I'm interested in um, sort of video games and pop culture art as well. So uh, if I see something on special and the price is good, too good to refuse, then I'm going to buy it. But for the most part, I think I'm going to try and limit my purchases to about one or two books per month. Um, we'll try and keep the... Uh, purchasing in check you know not let it get out of control <laughs> control um yeah yeah been doing more reading of the blender manual it's more of the same uh nothing to write home about uh, other than that um yeah speaking of like how to art books and stuff um 2D animation. I'm still studying these 12 principles of animation, and um, I think Alan Becker Tutorials had a fantastic video breaking down and summing up the concepts of 12 principles of animation. Um, as described by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston in the Disney Illusion of Life book, so I will put a link in the description to that one if anyone's interested, but um, yeah, I find it just infinitely fascinating that these uh, principles have existed for the past... I wouldn't say 100 years, but they've existed for so long now, and um, it just works. It just works. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm losing my voice. I'm feeling kind of sick, but I am glad I made it through <clears throat> this video. <laughs> um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a great day.